friends, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to synchronize your important files. This is easy made with a, a program called Free File Sync. Now, first of all, you have to go download the program and uh, install it. Uh, the link is on the, in the description. Uh, after you have done that, uh, open Free File Sync. Uh, okay, open it. Uh, now, let's delete this. Uh, okay, now uh, you have to choose two files. Uh, the files you want to synchronize. Uh, so let's say I'm choosing the test one. And in my USB drive, I have a uh, test2 file. And as you see, both are empty. And also, the test1 is empty. Um, now, uh, you have to compare them. Uh, it seems like nothing has changed, so they are the same, so it let them be. Um, so, let's test it. So, we are going to make a new uh, document file. Let's say a uh, test. You should and open it. This is a test for YouTube. Okay, now save it, close it. So you see, test one and that test two is still empty. So, first of all, we have to compare, and then uh, if you compare it, direct, it directly sees it that you have added a new one. Then, uh, if you want to synchronize, you have. Uh, four different options. You have automatic. Automatic works like a database. It keeps track on the changes and then it makes the changes. Uh, mirror is just a backup. Uh, everything on the left side is copied to the right. Update is also a kind of a backup, but this makes only changes on the updated files. Uh, so go synchronize. Everything is synchronized. If you want everything to be automatic, then go just to advanced, create a batch job. A batch job is a little program that does everything for you. So let's say uh, we want to synchronize test 1 with uh, test 2. Okay, uh, after you have done that, you can choose your uh, how you want to be synchronized, automatic mirror update or custom. Custom is you can make your uh, own thing so, but I cho I always like to choose automatic because it makes uh, updates on the both sides and then I choose the the how you how do you want to be compared with with the file time and size or with the file content I always I always like to choose the file time and size to be uh, then I go save it uh, somewhere so I'm saving on the desktop Let's say sync 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 with USB. Let's save it. I saved it. Now you see. Let's uh, if you execute it, it does everything for you. So mine is uh, updated. So let's make some uh, different uh, make some changes here. So let's copy these. Uh, let's copy the whole. No. Uh, okay. Let's copy this, the YouTube uh, template. So, copy it. Now, if you uh, press the program, you're seeing it. It is updating it. Now you can make changes also on the test two. So let's say we want to change something in test two. We make a new document, test two, and we say this is test two. To show that you can sync, sync on both sides. Now save it, and if you execute the program, you see it can proceed for uh, 45 bits. So let's say, see the test two is also here. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Uh, see you.